everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. I'm doing a review here of Apple. And the reason I'm doing this is because Apple is earnings out tonight, which is going to be extremely interesting because I think a lot of people aren't at their office today because of the weather in New York. And it's very difficult to get around. And people that would normally travel or drive into the city uh, aren't going to do that. And we're getting more snow right now. But let's just take a look at Apple. Bad weather aside, snowstorm aside, what do I actually think Apple could do tonight? Let me just look at this. Wow. Well, there is a possibility Apple could gap down tonight. <laughs> I'm actually shocked, but man, there is a possibility that Apple could gap down tonight. If it does, it's not going to be good, but there is a possibility that that could happen. You know, the market's falling today, but it's holding. It's the market's basically holding today, but it's still falling, meaning it fell in the gap, and it still is a little bit red. I'm talking about the QQQs today, not really the SPY. And the market could follow through in the fall tomorrow, just in, into the gap, meaning it could gap down tomorrow with Apple. Like, that's going to pull the market down. If Apple gaps down, that will pull the QQQs down tomorrow morning in the gap, and the market will gap down, and then Apple will gap down. In an ideal world, let's talk in an ideal world. In an ideal world, Apple gaps up. Apple gaps up to 120, and it's a media buy, and it flies and makes new highs and goes and goes to 125 and beyond. In an ideal world, Apple gaps up tonight to 120, and it's an immediate buy. But I'm seeing this chart here, and I'm seeing the market today, and I'm seeing the way that this looks, and I'm saying that actually I'm a little bit surprised because the fact is that the market, that the Apple could actually gap down tonight. I, I, this is not ideal, and I really probably. Well, I, I will rate the gap. If it gaps down, I will rate it. I absolutely will rate it. I will rate it. But I don't think this gap's down under 100. Even if it gaps down, it's not going to be a big gap down. It'll be a medium to small. Small most likely, medium to small, won't break 100. But in an ideal world, Apple gaps up to 120 as an immediate buy. If Apple does anything other than that, anything, anything outside of that at all, there's no play in Apple tomorrow. I mean, I'll rate the gap, but I don't see it setting up right as a short, even if it gaps down. I just don't see that happening at all. If it gaps up here, like approximately to this area here, it's going to be a crap, crap long. And I just can't, there's just nothing here where I can see that this could possibly be setting up as a good short. But it could gap down. That's what I'm saying, basically. I'm saying I'm surprised here because this actually could gap down, but it's really not weak. And there's nothing this could do in a gap that's even conceivable that it would even make it weak because it's just not going to happen. It's impossible. It's like the idea of the market falling, which is not going to happen. It isn't happening. It's just not happening. The market's not going to break. It's like an impossibility. So even if Apple gaps down, it's not going anywhere. Even if it was red in the day, it's not going anywhere. It's a very strong chart. And in an ideal world, Apple gaps up to 120 as a minute buy. And if that happens, the market will actually probably open neutral rally or gap up tomorrow morning, which could when people are back at their offices in the works. But if this gaps up to 120, targets 125, overall long-term target on Apple actually is very, very in sync here for the market for 2015 because Apple's holding ever since it did that stock thing, whenever it flipped and changed price and did all that back, I think it was 2014. Uh, Apple has fully recovered, beautiful chart, everything looks great, even more affordable now for people to invest in if they want to. Whereas at one point it was, you know, over $500 and over $600 and just crazy. And people do love this company and it has done the correction already long before. But really the target for Apple this year with the market rallying in a bullish market by the end of the year is 150. That's not even that far away from here. It's like not even that far away from here. But I'm not saying we gap up tomorrow for sure. I don't have 100% conviction actually where we gap because I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, Actually, this might gap down now. So I don't have 100% conviction where Apple gaps, but I'm saying in an ideal world, it gaps up to 120. It's media buy and target on the day is 125. Whether the market does anything bullish tomorrow or not, though. So this is irregardless of the market. So if Apple gaps up to 120 in an ideal world, it's a buy tomorrow, targets 125. It doesn't matter what the market does. But I'm saying that if Apple gaps down and the market gaps down and falls through from the gap down today, down, Apple could run red tomorrow. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fall off a planet, and there's no chance that is even remotely going to happen. But if it does gap down, it'll be smaller, medium, and it's not really going to go anywhere. I'll rate it. I'll rate it. I will rate it. But I just low odds that even happens. Does anyone in here have any questions on Apple?
I don't even know if some of you are in love with Apple. I know people do love Apple. Does anyone have any questions about Apple? You can watch it tonight. This is not the top watch there for tonight unless it gaps up to 120. And if you do any kind of option in this before the earnings, you're really taking a chance. Because I just I just looked at this here and I'm now I'm now like, well, this actually could gap down and I didn't actually expect that, and that's why I just wanted to kind of look at it right here, just right on the fly, and see what I think. And I actually think that there is a possibility this could gap down, but it's it's not going to break a hundred <clears throat> in the gap down. Does anyone have any questions? Any questions at all? Everyone's quiet as a mouse, and nobody cares about Apple. <laughs> all right. All right. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everyone. This is an Apple's pre-earnings report. I do not have 100% conviction where this gaps, but I'm telling you that in an ideal world, Apple gaps up to 120 and it's an immediate buy. Target's 125 no matter what the market does, and the target on the year is 150 and possibly beyond. And actually, that has a lot to do with where it goes tomorrow. If Apple does gap up to 120 tonight in January, January 27, Apple will go beyond 150 this year. And I'll look at that at the time. All I see right now is what I see. All I see right now is what I see. The next target in Apple is 120, 125. It can meet the next target in the gap. If it gaps up tonight, if it does that, target for the year is probably beyond 150. All I, the only thing I can see is 150 in my head right now. That's all I see, and I can only say what I see at the moment. Apple options could pay well, Surf Dog's saying. Dave doesn't care about Apple. <laughs> Unless we do options, nobody can afford Apple. This is actually more affordable now than it's ever been. This is actually more affordable now than it's ever, ever, ever been, actually, which is funny. It's interesting. You know, again, it's still expensive to do overnight if you're doing it as an equity, not an option, but much, much cheaper than Netflix. And actually, a very strong stock and a very strong chart. And actually, this is just as strong as Netflix. Like I did the I did the chart yesterday of Netflix, and even though this is red today and Netflix is green, this chart, this overall look here, is actually just as strong as Netflix. Uh, because of the action that it's had from 14 into 15 here. So this is very strong still too and much more affordable than something like Netflix. Um, this is just not going anywhere though if it gaps down tomorrow, but I think there's a possibility that it could. So it'll be interesting to see tonight. I really don't rate these things at night though. I'd like to give myself like a 24 hour break from my brain uh, looking at charts so I see things as crisp and clear as I can in the morning. And actually I think it's a good reason why you know you people in here shouldn't trade in the afternoon. I realize that I'm so, so fresh in the morning with my eye and my chart reading because I don't do anything from the time I leave here until later. And every once in a while I do a video like around lunch. Or every once in a while I do a video for like a couple minutes or something on the weekend. But I really, really give myself that 24-hour break for my brain, for my eyes, for everything, that it doesn't do anything here where I can see things so clean and crisp and clear in the live time, which happens in the pre-market when I'm looking at it. Uh, so I, I'll probably look at this tonight just to see, but I won't really spend a lot of time on it. I'll just like, oh, I'll just look to see if it's gapping up or down. But I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't be surprised if this gaps down because I just looked at this now and I don't have 100% conviction it gaps up. But I will say in an ideal world, it gaps up to 120. Makes a new high in the gap tonight and is an immediate buy. And Surf Dog, it's up to you if you want to do it or not in an option. That is the call. I would not do anything other than that. Even though I'm saying it could actually gap down, I would never do something like that for that because I'm telling you, if it gaps down, it probably will rally. All right? I don't know exactly until I see where it gaps down. But this is affordable more so than the Netflix for things that you could be long this year, charts that are strong, that have a tremendous potential uh, to run with the market, that are holding very well, and as I said, aren't doing anything wrong. 120 call options are 60 cents right now, which is $60 risk per contract. 10 contracts risk is $600, reward is $3,800. Well, there you have it. That's from Surf Dog. I'll plop that in the room in a minute. You'd have to know how to do the option. Well, risk to reward is what? Risk to reward is pretty darn good then on that Surf Dog. Jeez Louise. Risk to reward is pretty good on that then. It's up to you. But I'm not telling you I have 100% conviction it does it. Do you know how sometimes I say that? I'm not saying that here. So FYI, 
Sometimes I say I have 100% conviction this is gapping up, like I said with Netflix, and it did. I'm not saying that here. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that this has a chance it could gap down, and I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it in the chart. But, you know, so that's on you. But, you know, we will look at this no matter what tomorrow. Well, we'll look at this no matter what tomorrow. If it gaps down, I'll look at it. I'll rate it. If it gaps up, I don't even need to rate it. I mean, I could. I will. I just know what it needs to do. And if it gaps up to 115, it's really nothing either. Yeah, it has to go right up on over there. And in fact, it'll hit on through and above probably and up and over at 120. By the time, like, if this gaps up tonight to 120, by the time tomorrow morning rolls around, you know, just like the Netflix, I mean, it could be well over that. So that's the thing. So then I don't know how it's going to play out on the live day. Like, remember, the Netflix did that. Went to bed, it was 404. Next morning, it was 415. You know, this this will do that exact same kind of thing if that's what it does tonight. So it should be interesting. All right, this is Melissa with StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everyone. This is a preview of the Apple. I do not have 100% conviction where it's gapping. Not that it matters. I don't trade anything until it gaps anyways. Surf Dog's doing the options. That's fine. It has a huge risk reward. If you want to do it, you got to be prepared to take the risk. If this in an ideal world gaps up to 120 or beyond, it's a buy. Although I have no idea where it's going to open tomorrow if it does that tonight. Have a good day, everyone.